What's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's Deep. I to react to this video by Real Life Lore. This is the ocean is way deeper than you think. This is a throwback reaction. I reacted to this video years ago, so I'm gonna react to it again. I don't remember it. And y'all asked me to react to it when I did. The universe is way bigger than you think, so I got y'all. I think I'm gonna do that like every couple days. I'll react to like a throwback video um, that I reacted to a really long time ago, um, especially if it's a really popular video that people are asking me to, you know, react to again, because some of you are here from, you know, years ago when I used to do reactions, but have new subscribers as well. They haven't seen it. So yeah, about to do that. So yeah, the ocean is way deeper than you think. I don't remember. I remember thinking, damn, the ocean is super duper deep, but I don't know. I don't know the detail. <laughs> so we about to see. Let's watch. The ocean is really, really deep. Deeper, in fact, than most of us realize. If you were to shave off all of the land from the tops of every continent and island in the world and fill up the ocean's deepest points with that land, then the entire Earth would be covered in an ocean two miles deep. Three-fourths of our planet is already covered in water, though, and it goes a lot deeper than just two miles. Let's start with a sense of scale. This dot right here is the size of an average human. This slightly larger dot is the size of an elephant, and this is the size of the largest ship ever built. A little further down at 93 meters is where the wreck of the Lusitania was discovered, which is interesting because the Lusitania itself is 240 meters long, which means that it sank in water shallower than it is long, so if the ship was standing on its stern or bow, it would be sticking out of the water. Just slightly deeper than that at 100 meters is where diving can become seriously fatal if you're not careful because of decompression sickness. But that didn't stop a man named Herbert Nitsch to accomplish the free diving world record at a depth of 214 meters. Sheesh. This guy Isn't swam that? down to this level with just one single breath. But a little further down at 332 meters, we have the scuba diving world record, which was accomplished by another man named Ahmed Gaber. If he had swam down another 111 meters, then he would have reached the height of the Empire State Building if it was submerged underwater. This is when we must bring up the intensity of water pressure. At this level below the surface, the water pressure exerted on a person or the penguins would okay. be roughly equivalent to a polar bear standing on a quarter. Cool. So further down the depths at 830 meters would be the height of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest building in the world. Once we hit 1,000 meters below the surface, we begin to enter the scary zone. Light from the surface can no longer reach beyond this point, so the rest of the ocean below is shrouded in permanent darkness. On top of that, the water pressure you would experience at this point would be about the same as if you were standing on the surface of the planet Venus, meaning that you would die very quickly. You would also meet the giant squid at this sea level if the water pressure didn't already kill you. Down at 2,000 meters, we start to encounter some of the more terrifying sea creatures, like the ominously named Black Dragonfish, a carnivorous beast with a stomach that doesn't allow light to be emitted through it. Mm -hmm. Meaning that since we're in total darkness underwater at this point, the only way you would ever see this thing is with a flashlight. Oh shit, that's a little really further awful. down at 2,250 meters, we would reach the maximum depth dived to by both sperm whales and the very frightening colossal squid. Sperm whales often have sucker marks and scars left on their bodies from battles with a colossal squid that likely take place at these incredible depths. Yeah. The squids themselves can grow to be 14 meters long and weigh up to 750 kilograms with eyes the size of a dinner plate and razor sharp sickles in the middle of their tentacles. Water pressure is at an astonishing 11,000 pounds per square inch down here, and there are numerous strange, almost alien-like creatures that inhabit these depths such as the fangtooth, anglerfish, and viperfish. Down at 4,267 meters is the average depth of the ocean where you would normally expect to hit the floor, but there are parts of the ocean that go significantly deeper than even this. At 4,791 meters the rests hell? the wreckage of the battleship Bismarck sunk during World War II, and way down at 6,000 meters is the beginning of the Hadal Zone, named after the underworld Hades itself. Aww. At 6,500 meters, we reach the maximum depth that the DSV Alvin can dive to, a popular research submarine that helped to discover the Titanic. Panic. Way further down at 8,848 meters below the surface and we have arrived at the height of Mount Everest were it to be upside down and placed underwater. And then way further past even that at 10,898 meters we arrive at the depth reached by James Cameron in 2012 during the Deep Sea Challenger mission. 
The deepest point in the ocean yet reached by humans was back in 1960, though, when two men named Don Walsh and Jacques Picard reached a depth of 10,916 meters using their Trieste submarine. So if you've ever looked out of a window while on a flight and looked down to the ground, that's a very good sense of how incredibly deep down into the abyss that we are currently at. Yeah. Finally, when we hit 10,994 meters, we have hit the bottom of the known ocean called the Challenger Deep, right here on this map, just about 300 kilometers southwest of Guam Island. However, it is believed that there are almost certainly even deeper parts of the ocean than this that just haven't been discovered yet. It is estimated that only about 5% of the ocean's floor has been accurately mapped, mm -hmm. leaving the other 95% to be currently a mystery. It may be only a matter of time before an even deeper part of our ocean is found, and who knows what we may discover there. He would put that scary ass alien thing on the corner. Hey, that's so weird. But how are those fish able to survive down there if the pressure is so bad? Like, how are they able to still live? I don't know, that shit is wild though. Definitely interesting though. It really just shows how vast our universe is and how much land and area that we have yet to discover. Just something to think about. But let me know what y'all thought about the video. Let me know what other video you want me to react to and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.